Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video, I'll be painting a ceiling tile. So as you can see in the pictures here, um, these are some examples of like what I meant by painting a ceiling tile. So these ceiling tiles are like classroom ceiling tiles you can take out of the roof. One of my teachers gave him give one to me and was like, you want to paint something on it? And um, he had a bunch of ceiling tiles previously already painted, and his ceiling was getting pretty full of ceiling tiles and paintings. And so I thought it was a cool idea, so I, I decided to say yes. And shamefully, yes, this this uh, project has taken me like a lot longer than I it should have to complete. Um, but that's because I got really busy with AP artwork, uh, my advanced uh, placement uh, art class inside school. I had a lot of work from that class, and I got really busy. So I kind of put it off for months. This project took me a while. Um, and as you could see there in the beginning earlier in clips, um, I actually sketched with pencil first and that pencil sketch was months ago and I decided to change that idea up. Um, it was a dragon, like a Chinese dragon with like a warrior on top of it and like a sun in the background and then I realized now months later that I didn't have enough time to complete that uh, painting and uh, I, I don't think the idea was also was it, I don't think it was going to be very well executed on a uh, ceiling tile um, because I was originally intending actually to paint that uh, that picture on a parking lot to, um, a parking space because our school allows seniors to paint parking spaces but that project was a uh, very ambitious so I decided I wasn't going to go for it um, and I wanted to paint the ceiling tile as a sunset instead so this sunset painting uh, the only problems I really had was um, the silhouette of the trees was a really big contrast off the sky, off the sunset, and so I decided to go in with a, a watered down white for cl for the clouds of the sunset um, to contrast up like the black harshness of the um, the trees. Another problem I had was I used cheaper paints for this project because it was a big canvas. This ceiling tile was really pretty big, and I didn't want to use high quality paints that I paid a lot of money for because then it would just like it would waste the paint. I feel like it, it's just a big piece. So and it didn't and this texture of the Tile was like not the best for the paints, anyways. So I decided to use cheaper paints, and so due to the the cheaper paints, the opacity of the paints were not the greatest either. Um, the, they were really transparent when I used yellow, uh, which were good for the clouds. But when I painted rubber ducks, like I painted like a group of rubber ducks down in the bottom right of the uh, like water reflection, and the yellow did not cover up the like. Um, orange and black like that I had previously laid down earlier and so I had to go in with like uh, like 10 coats of yellow paint and it was just kind of a struggle to get the the yellow paint down the, the tile another thing that was a struggle was the texture as I said of the tile uh, basically this this tile is like uh, very like polka dotted or very like textured as you can see in these close-up angles sometimes um, it was hard to get the paint in every crevice and like crease of the tile and it, it I think it would the, the worst part wasn't the black paint as I said it was like the yellow paint or like the the sunset or the water reflection because I sometimes I didn't have enough paint you had to use a lot more paint in order to uh, fill like this this texture in and it also kind of it kind of tore up a little bit on the corners like if I bumped the corner on like my desk or like like I bumped the corner with, like you know my hand or something it would kind of like crumble off like there was a, it was like crumbly it was like a, a very fragile um, element and so uh, I hoped that it wasn't gonna break every time I touched it <laughs> but it was a little risky picking it up and moving it around so much to paint it um, and then right here I just went in with a light streak of black paint for the weeds on the bottom of the image and then uh, the rubber ducks I didn't really like the the eyes of the rubber ducks or the beak so I kept going back and changing them but um at the end the end I went with just a simpler rubber duck beak design and then it looks pretty cool in my opinion so uh, I'm glad I went with this simpler um, sunset design I'm really happy with the way this one came out and so I hope you enjoyed this video I'll leave a like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you in the next one